this is Lorraine Weschler from the Worcester Public Schools Communications Department. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot some of the common issues in Parent Square. Worcester Public Schools is going to be launching Parent Square in phases throughout the rest of the 2023 to 24 school year. However, we're going to begin sending out district wide communications soon, which means you may get phone calls or emails from parents with questions about Parent Square before it's officially launched at your school. To log into Parent Square, go to parentsquare.com on your browser and click sign in with Google and sign in using your Worcester Google account. Once you're signed in, you'll see a dashboard similar to this. It won't be exactly the same because I have an admin account. The first thing that you need to know is where to go for help. If you click the question mark on the top right hand corner of the page and choose chat with us from the drop down menu, you can contact Parent Square support team to answer any questions that you have. In the same drop down menu, you'll also see there's options to email them and to call them. I find the chat is the fastest way to get a hold of them. Parent Square has a top notch support team and they usually respond within a few minutes. Also in this drop down menu is a link to the help articles, which have a lot of additional information about how to do anything in Parent Square. Now let's get to some troubleshooting. The most common problem that you're likely to hear from parents is that they're not receiving messages, and this could have several causes. The first is if their information is incorrect in WooEDU. Parent Square pulls their information from WooEDU each night, so if you update it in WooEDU, the changes should appear in Parent Square the following day. You can check what information Parent Square is pulling for parents by checking their account. To do that, go to the admin tab from the dashboard on the top, and then you're going to go to under, on the left-hand menu under Data Assistant is Parents. If you click on that, you'll see a list of all of the parents and their your school as well as students they're associated with, their email, phone number, and additional information like whether they've registered. You can search for the parent's name in this column here, or you can search by the student name. So this is a good place to check and see if their information is correct. If it's not, update it in WooEDU. You can also click on their name and you'll see the email address and phone number associated with their account for each school that they're in. If you're at one school, you'll only see the information for your school and also the children that are associated with them at that school. If their email address or phone number is incorrect, you need to update it in WooEDU. Don't update it in Parent Square. If you try to edit it in Parent Square, it will be overwritten in the next nightly sync. If you look here and their email address is correct, messages might be going to their spam folder. Ask them to check the spam folder in their email and mark any messages from do not reply at parentsquare.com as not spam. Another reason parents might not be getting messages is because they accidentally turned off their notifications. You can check this from their account by going to notification settings on the left hand menu. Make sure that their notifications are turned on for each school. They can choose whether they want to receive text, email, or app notifications, and whether they want them to have instantly or as a daily digest, which they'll receive all of the messages for that day in the evening at the same time. No matter what, make sure that they have their urgent alerts turned on and make sure that their school-based alerts are turned on. They can choose whether they would prefer to get an email, a text message, or an app notification as long as one of those options is checked. If everything looks good on their account, the next place to check for any problems is the delivery statistics of a recent post. If you go back to the homepage and you go to posts under posts feed, I'm gonna just switch to a different school. You won't see this long list of schools here. If you're only at one school, it will only be your school. So, okay, here's the posts feed. This is the main feed that most people will see when they log in. If you go to a recent post, at the bottom of that post is like a little icon and it has like a number and it says number notified. If you click on that, it will give you the delivery report for that post. So here you can see how many people received the message, whether they got it from text, email, or the app, and how many messages were undeliverable. You can search for a specific user in the delivery report and it will show information as to whether they got the email, if they opened it, text message, and app notifications. You'll see if there was a problem, it might say bounced, blocked, or invalid email under the email status. And under text, it could have a problem like invalid or landline or not delivered. 
If you click on the parent's name, you'll see this one has a bounced email address. So if you can double check with the parent to make sure their email is correct, if it is correct, you can click the button that says click here to remove them from the bounce list. And you'll see a similar alert on their account if their text message was marked as invalid. If there is a problem with their email, again, update that in WooEDU. Don't click the click here to remove them. Another issue that could cause problems to not be receiving messages is if they accidentally blocked the number for from ParentSquare in their text messages on their phone. They can text the word START, S-T-A-R-T, to 66458 to re-enable their text messages. Another reason that parents might call is if they accidentally rejected their child during the registration process. You can re dismiss the re rejection from the contact verifications report. To find the verifications report, go to the admin tab at the top of the page and then go on the left-hand menu, scroll down under data integration is contact verifications. If you click on require action, on this list, you'll see if there was a parent who tried to accidentally dismiss their child and you can click dismiss request here and it will reassociate the student with the parent, and next time the parent logs on, they can confirm that that student belongs to them. You may receive additional types of questions from parents. Most of the other problems can be resolved without going into ParentSquare at all. You can find some of the common questions in the Guide for Front Office Staff Troubleshooting Common ParentSquare Issues, which should have been shared with you in a Google Drive. If parents are calling you with general questions about how to use ParentSquare, you can direct them to the help page on our website. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me.